told our audience in studio during the break that we have a little extra time in our show today, so we're gonna do what we call Q and Ray. Me being the Ray, the audience being the Q, or the question, question number one. Uh, do you need to use a cast iron or a nonstick? Uh, I use three different surfaces to cook food. My uh, go-to for any sort of protein or meat is cast iron, a cast iron skillet. I think it is an essential for the kitchen. I also love cast iron Dutch ovens for braising. Uh, for nonstick, I use a material. Um, it's way more durable than stainless steel. It's even heating, uh, very dense product. It's called hard anodized. Um, and that's my nonstick surface of, of choice. Um, we do make every fabrication in our lines because I like to represent everything that people want to shop for in, in homeware. But those are the three that I use in my home. Thank you. Hello. Hi, Hi, Hi I'm name? Dana. I wanted to know, what was the most memorable meal, perhaps that a family or friend served you, that you were unexpectedly and delightfully surprised by? I don't like surprises, but I, <laughs> I, I had friends that threw me this year a 50th birthday party three months after my birthday, and that was super fun. As far as meals, uh, the best meals that I've had at home were with my grandfather, who was my primary caretaker when I was a girl. Uh, and he was the primary cook in his family. He had 10 children, and he did all of their cooking. Uh, and my mother was the first, his firstborn, so she was often in the kitchen with Grandpa. And I had a friend, uh, Melody uh, Dine, who uh, wrote a series of books about chefs and cooks and their last meal. I said, if I knew it was my last meal, I would be very depressed, so I wouldn't be eating. I'd be doing other things. <laughs> um, but if there is a heaven, the first meal I would want there would be with my first dog, Boo, and with my grandpa. And we would have uh, spaghetti with a lot of salty anchovies or sardines, because he loves yeah. sardines and anchovies. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. And, and my Boo loved butternut squash. So we would have butternut squash and salty spaghetti. <laughs> okay, hi, what's your name? My name's Samantha. Hi, Samantha. Um, my best friend and I came and saw you at your old studio, and when we saw you, I was kind of starstruck, and then LL Cool J walked in. Oh my God, is he gorgeous? Ah! He's, my, he's my crush. So I'm wondering, how, who did you really have to prepare for, like that you were gonna be starstruck, when a they lot. walked in. Like, is there a someone lot. that sticks out? Because I've said stupid things when I've met famous people. Oh, well, I couldn't even look. When I was a little girl, I hated wearing dresses. The only thing I would put a dress on for was the Tom Jones show because I thought Tom could see me. <laughs> um, and that's super creepy because I was three and he was like 45 or 50, I don't know. Uh, but I love Tom to this day, and the first time he came on the show, I literally couldn't look at him. Like, he was sitting here, and I was interviewing him by looking straight ahead. Um, and then I have a mad crush. I have a thing for dimples. I, I love LL. I love anybody with a dimple, but I find it really difficult. Like, I mentally have to prepare myself. Like, I'm doing Iron Chef again or something, which I would never do. Um, but I, I get really shaky when Curtis, when 50 Cent comes around. I can't. I just can't. Oh. Um, there's a few more, but I'm going to get in way trouble if I don't <laughs> shut up right now. 